Hey guys, my name is Ksenia, welcome to my channel. I'm still in Berlin and today is a beautiful, sunny, slightly chilly Sunday uh, morning and we don't have many plans for the day, but I think we're gonna head out for breakfast pretty soon and we're gonna attempt to have breakfast at 44 Brecky, which is, I think, quite a popular place. They don't do reservations and there's always a queue, so we'll see if we can um, just grab a seat there. And afterwards, we're go gonna go to Mauer Park and I'm not sure we're gonna do any real shopping, but rather browsing there, I guess, because we don't really need anything. But uh, I feel like I have to come to, back to Mauer Park every time I go to Berlin. And we've not been since we arrived more than two weeks ago now. So I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about just seeing, seeing it again with my own eyes. And while Alexander is preparing to head out, I think I'm mostly done. I just need to change, uh, change my clothes. I'm gonna read a book. It's The Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. And it's a dark academia book. I think it's a bit like young adultish, honestly, which is fine, but not really the books I'm into that much. But so far I've been enjoying it. There's this girl, she's a sorcerer, and she goes to this uh, Scholomon school, which is apparently trying to kill all the students. It's like Hogwarts, but going wild and very angry, I think, after Voldemort has conquered it, probably. Um, so yeah, there are no teachers. There are just like self-study <laughs> sessions there, and if if you fail to do the assignment, if you fail to meet the deadline, the assignment is gonna transform to like some form of creature with some magic, depending on what the assignment is, and it's basically gonna try and kill you. So that solves the issue of <laughs> motivation, I think, for learning. And so yeah, there are those kids that uh, that go there, and there is basically a lot of dark magic and horrible monsters <laughs> just walking casually around the school trying to kill people and I think in the book it says maybe 25% of um, those who have got into school in the beginning get to graduate and make it out of school which is kind of interesting concept I think so yeah um, yesterday I've bought it and I've already read like maybe 70 80 pages it's, it's not a big book I'm gonna read a bit and hopefully soon we'll leave the house because I'm getting really hungry now <laughs> So we've just finished our breakfast, well, brunch really, in 44 Brecky. Um, I can definitely recommend it. The line there was pretty big, but it only took us like 10-15 um, minutes before we were seated. The food was good, a bit too much honestly, but very delicious. So if you are in the area, it's in Prinslauer Allee, I can recommend. And right now we're heading out to Mauer Park.
Today's Monday and I'm at home, obviously. The weekend was great. Actually, uh, I think we didn't do as much as we wanted um, and we spent a lot of time just chilling on the bed actually or just on the on the sofa watching uh, some YouTube videos or reading books. I think it actually was quite good because we initially planned to do like a lot more sightseeing than we did, a lot more productive things, maybe work as well. But in the end, you really need your weekend to relax and to just get yourself ready for the next week. So uh, we did that. It's now about half past five, I think, in the evening, and we are going to head out for dinner much earlier than we usually do. I think around six o'clock maybe, because um, we've been working all day, really, and uh, it's time to just you know, get yourself moving. And we're planning on going to Kokolo, which is our favorite ramen place in Berlin. Um, although, I don't know, if you have any recommendations, please leave them in the comments because we've not been to an awful lot of ramens, but the ones that we visited, Kokolo definitely was the best. And it's about a 28 minute walk one way to the restaurant from where we live. So that's actually pretty cool because we get to not exercise, right? But get get ourselves moving a little bit, then have a dinner and then have time uh, walking back home, not just, you know, sit, eat and go back home sitting in front of the computer again, because I think we're going to have to work a little bit more once we come back. And I'm hoping this week would be actually rather productive for me, although Monday was so far it's going good, but not as good as I was hoping. And the thing is, I'm working on five different projects in total. I do copywriting for all of them. And Mostly I'm doing fine. I'm productive. I can like deadlines are okay for me. I am disciplined. I can work uh, without anyone nudging me or pushing me and etc. But um, lately I think I've been struggling because I, I don't know, maybe it's just that I'm tired or it's Berlin that I want to explore more than anything or yeah, I guess I'm just tired, honestly, um, and I'm, maybe I need a vacation, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. And right now I think we have maybe 20 minutes before we leave, so I'll see if I can get some tiny bits of work done in the meantime. Today we came to uh, Merkers Museum, Metro Station, and that's the place where I've done my internship back at uni, so I wanted to come here, and the, although we're now walking on some <laughs> random place, but the area, the neighborhood is actually pretty cool. They have a lot of good architecture, and it's close to the center, it's really close to the uh, museum island, really, and I like this part of the city very much. I, I initially wanted to book an apartment here, but it's a little bit pricier <laughs> than I would want it to be. So we didn't, but yeah, now we're going to have a little walk around here, maybe go by the building where my apartment used to be, uh, my, um, the company I worked for used to be, and then we're going to head for dinner. By the way, guys, I've ended up buying this ring at the Mauer Park Flohmarkt. It's definitely like it's way bigger than I need it to be because it's a man's ring. Actually, I'm going to have to find someone to resize it for me to like um, make it smaller. I don't know if I'm going to do it in Germany or somewhere else. I really want to do it now actually in Berlin. So I need to Google Google someone who can help me with that. But yeah, I was basically looking for 
the um, some interest in ring with skeletons for a while. Well, not really looking, but like thinking I should get it, and I'm really happy with with this one. The guy who was selling it said that it's like solid silver and it's like high quality. You can wash dishes in it and stuff, and it won't get ruined. I don't know about that, but I, I'm really happy about the ring in any case. It's super hot in Berlin again, which is not helping me focus on work and do anything really, but um, yeah, we're powering through it. And I know I'll be sorry about those sunny days that I didn't appreciate once the autumn starts and really kicks in, but anyway. So I got a vegan Ben & Jerry, it's a cookie dough, cookies on cookie dough. And I hope it's good because you know there is a problem like with, um, I think, vegan ice cream a lot that it's not really tasty, <laughs> like it's okay. I'm gonna put it in the freezer for now before it melts away. So yeah, basically there are a lot of vegan options, but they're not, it's not the same, you know, and it's sometimes it's like really not good. But with this brand, I hope it's gonna be, and maybe they'll just compensate it with tons of sugar. So yesterday we left our apartment, our Airbnb, and we checked into a hotel. It looks like this. And we had a, like a bit of an issue with the apartment, so we had to move out, unfortunately. But the hotel is really nice. I'm not going to show you too much of it because it's already a mess, although we've not even been here for the full 24 hours. And yeah, it kind of feels nice to be, be in a hotel. Not a like it's a different feeling, you know, a different experience from Airbnb. Obviously, it's nice to live in your own apartment where you have the kitchen and like you feel more like a local. But hotels are also nice sometimes. And uh, today, I think we're gonna finally go to the Sophie the Bakery. Hopefully, we make it. I don't know if we maybe change our mind on the way. That's a place where they supposedly have great bakery, and I don't know about the breakfast, but I'm ho hoping they do. And then, yeah, we'll probably head out to one of the museums that we've not yet visited to. And yesterday was a rather uneventful day, but we went, met our friends again and we had a few drinks. And now we're going to prepare because it's morning and we're going to rush out to get some bakeries. We've just finished our breakfast at uh, Sophie and the, f the place is definitely nice. The uh, Everything we've eaten was tasty and good, but it's just there's so many people obviously. They're very popular and it's uh, there's always a queue and we couldn't sit outside, which was okay because it's really hot out anyway. But uh, yeah, all in all, I think it's good. I would recommend it. But again, maybe come here not um, like in the rush hour, but somewhere. I, I don't even know if there is a time when there are not enough not people there. I think um, it's really hard to spot the time. Um, but yeah, it's a good place. And from here, we're going to the Hamburger Bahnhof, which is, I think it used to be a real Bahnhof, but now it's a contemporary art museum. So we're going to check it out. And we're, we're going to walk there. It's a 30 minute walk. And hopefully it's not going to be too hot as well.
by the way, I'm reading this uh, absolute book by Elizabeth Knox, and first, uh, like it's promised some sort of mystery, um, uh, the book that holds some secret knowledge, etc. And, and at the beginning, it seemed to be pretty boring, but now it's gotten full on crazy. I think with demons, with a lot of things going on. Um, quite interesting. MI5 as well. So we have the uh, British intelligence in here. And yeah, it's very interesting. But inside the book, I've now lost it again, but I saw the check from, I don't know f f for what it was, but there was a location, the villa of Saint Exupery in Nice in France. So the book apparently traveled to the south of France before. So that's cute. So we've already come home um, about the museum. I think it was amazing. I loved it. There were a lot of exhibitions showing, uh, talking about or like um, exploring the modern issues such as the conflict between Israel and Palestine or they've also looked at how the data and the manipulation with data and social media, what role they played in um, French elections, presidential elections and how the anti-vaxxers community was growing and developing with that. They, they all have um, the social issues they uncover but they do it in a different way and the only thing is that there was like zero ventilation or air conditioning in the museum on the first floor and we were almost at a point of fainting which is ridiculous and I honestly don't think that having no air con or no ventilation is the solution to the climate change I don't think that's it I, so instead of yeah you know making everyone suffer I think we should really focus on big corporations and regulating what they're doing not the individuals, but yeah, and anyway, so we couldn't really enjoy the museum as much, I think, because we were just trying not to basically die from <laughs> from the lack of fresh air inside, so that was really tough. Afterwards, we went for a quick um, drink breaks, just, you know, no, 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 non-alcoholic, of course, just some refreshments, and now we're home, and I think I'll end this vlog here. We are going to wait until a bit later in the day uh, before we go out again. And I think we'll just go to the Five Guys. That's like a burger place we've not been to before. But I've seen it a few times. I suggested we go there. So, yeah, I think we're just going to sit home, <laughs> eat burgers, maybe read, maybe do some work. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.